Good morning guys, it's Brent back here, and welcome to another vlog. This is vlog, I think, 47, and it is Wednesday, August 14th, at 8.08. So I hope everyone is doing good today. Uh, you know, middle of the week, uh, halfway through it, going over the hump day, as it would be. Um, to start off, I want to say, if anyone has questions for me, uh, you can leave those down in the comments. I'm looking to answer some in the upcoming vlogs as I get them. So I wanted to preference this at the start of the video. Next thing, uh, yesterday, didn't really do anything. Uh, work, came home, Nicole streamed, that's about it. Um, but what I was going to talk about, I've seen it a lot, um, I guess with the recent events, um, and that's the whole uh, violence and video game argument causing problems. Uh, like, are video games too violent? Do they promote violence? And all this. And I thought that I would share my opinion on the subject this morning. Um, I figured it would be a good topic. So, uh, violence in video games. Are video games violent? Some of them, yeah. I mean, you have stuff like VR Gorn, um, Call of Duty, Battlefield, uh, all the shooters, you know, that do have some violence. Uh, you know, fighting other people. Uh, shooting guns, Gorn, you can literally like chop people up with swords. But do I think this promotes, you know, outward violence? Um, probably not. Uh, most people can differentiate between a game and life, like real life. Um, people who are going out and, you know, causing violence are probably already a violent person to begin with. Uh, I don't think a video game, even if you play it every day, uh, is going to make you violent. Uh, they're not inherently bad, in my opinion. And there's so many games that have zero violence. Uh, you have stuff like Stardew Valley, or what's another good, good example? Minecraft, or you know, all these other things that are definitely not violent. Uh, but for some reason, video games as a whole get this bad rap and are being lumped into this category uh, for what they are. But there's all other sources of violence too that I think are just as bad if, you know, you have movies that have violence in them uh, that have, you know, maybe even some w worse aspects of violence and are, you know, more realistic because it's, you know, human on human violence that's being portrayed. Um, so you can't really blame games inherently uh, people are just, you know, violent and bad. There's bad people. I mean, and looking for a scapegoat and using video games, I don't think is a, the right way to go about it. Um, I think there's just a much bigger problem and people are looking for the easy solution. That's just my opinion. Um, so now I think it's just video games are getting the rap and are being used as the cover up and the excuse for the bad stuff that's going on. Because they can't really think of another way to justify it. Um, I'm hoping it'll just be something that blows over. I love games. And, I, you know, there's millions of people who love and play games. Um, and it's just a shitty thing that they're getting this kind of rap for, you know, everything that's going on. But, no. Video games are just video games. 99.9% um, .9 of people see it as a game and understand what it is and the people who might misconstrue it for something else would do the same with you know tv shows movies you know anything stories they there's something that's inherently different uh about people who are seeking out violence and the band-aid of video games are causing violence is that it's just a band-aid and hopefully it won't, you know, there's not going to be some kind of huge, like, cease and assist on games or, you know, something weird like that. But, you know, we'll see. It could just blow over and, you know, not be a big deal, but you never know. So, that's my opinion. I know it's a quick one. I don't have any, like, research to back it up or, you know, anything else. It's just my opinion. Um, but I think a lot of people would agree with my sentiment, so is what it is, but I thought that would be just an interesting little topic. Uh, it's pretty current and current events, so, and usually I'm not a current events kind of morning vlogger because I don't really, I don't have TV. I have 
you know, like Netflix, but I don't see a lot of the news. So what I get uh, <sighs> comes from, you know, internet sources. So there's always like a like skewed misconception on it already. So anyways, guys, I got to get ed- editing and get ready for work. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Also, like I prefaced in the beginning of the show, drop a comment. Uh, I'd love to talk with you guys and love to hear more. But guys, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.